OK YouTubers, this is Jay from Itonian TV, another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Back tomorrow, it's about to go on Crater. And today, uh, we're looking at some interesting things um, in one of the older souls, which was taken back years ago. And this is Soul 855. And this gigapan is by Keith Laney, lovely gigapan this one. Lots of detail, loads of weird fossils and strange things lying around on the ground. A lot of them are just rocks that look strange. But I'm absolutely convinced that some of these are actually fossils and bones and that kind of thing. As we see all over Gale Crater, this was a lake bed at one point in the past. A very salty, it would have ended up a very salty lake bed and lots of things died in and around it and were preserved in the, in the rich uh, bicarbonate and sulfuric uh, minerals that were in the, not only in the sand but in the water that was left as it dried out. Uh, this process I did explain in some detail in this video that I did a while back called uh, Mars 2020 Bear Found Calcified Animals. Now this video goes into some detail, quite some detail, about how I think these processes were working in Gale Crater. Basically the lake was very very salty, full of bicarbonate minerals and as it dried out, the creatures that lived on it and around it would have been preserved in these minerals and calcified, which is a kind of fossilization or turning to stone. It's not the standard fossilization that most people think of it on Earth, where things are encased in, in um, sediment or, or clay and then squashed under great pressure and then preserved that way. Uh, it's a slightly different process, but it does explain it in this video in great detail. So I do recommend that you watch this video. I'll put a link to it at the end. Uh, March 2020 bear found calcified animals, okay? It's important because it helps, helps you understand what's going on and why these things look the way they do and why we see so many amazing details in some of these um, so-called fossils or calcified remains, I should say. It explains why there's so much detail to be seen. The gigapan I've got here is really cool. You're going to love this one. Um, it's it's really detailed and clear and bright. And you can see lots and lots of stuff in here. And I'm going to show you the main things I've got. And if I find anything else, I'll put that in at the end of the video as well. But I'm sure a lot of you out there will find a lot of things in here because it's absolutely littered with goodies. Now, this was something I put up on... Um, uh, Facebook the other day and I've got the, uh, the post here and it's had loads of comments and uh, shares and, and stuff and um, about 50 people have liked it or, or commented on it and uh, it's absolutely insane I'll show you it straight away now this to me looks kind of mechanical but what I think it is is some kind of skeleton of some kind of creature similar to or a bit like a turtle or tortoise um, but it may not be it may be something very different maybe some of you out there can understand what this is it's very complex and we've got lots and lots of parts interlocking parts much like bones would be the details in this are really quite unbelievable um, it, it's just insane you've got interlocking parts with amazing details like this here this kind of curves round it's got this part to it here coming round you've got this kind of inner part and this part comes over which joins onto this part and they're all interlocking this part is very angular here you've got a very angular part with an internal hole in it as well and you've got these kind of almost t-shaped locking sections here which are kind of interlocking with each other now only spinal bones or rib bones would do that, unless this is a mechanical object that is calcified and uh, preserved in the, in the minerals in this lake bed. But you've got some weird details, like this part sticking out here and another part coming under it and round it like that. Unbelievable. The details in here are quite unbelievable. I really don't know what it is. I'm just trying to work out as usual, speaking of my mind here and just trying to work through in my mind what we're looking at and try to explain what it might be. I don't know what it is. But for one thing is for sure, I mean, even in the raw image here, I mean, 
the so-called raw image that has been enhanced, I think, from the original images. Um, it's had contrast added, and um, it's been sharpened. It's got a bit of a funny texture to it. But if you look on the, you can see it on the Gigapan. You don't have to enhance this at all to see it. It's very clear. Um, let's go back to the Gigapan. Here we are. What you've got to do is zoom in, and all the details are there to see. You can see all these interlocking parts. Very complex, and um, it it's absolutely mind-boggling. I can't r work out what it is. It did remind me a little of one of these, uh, a turtle skeleton. Um, these are very complex and have got all these kind of rib parts and, and reinforced parts where the shell would have been over the top of this thing. Now this is a giant one found in um, South America. Look at the size of it, absolutely incredible. Uh, I think this was found in the 1920s or something or about 100 years ago or something. But unbelievable. I don't think it is a turtle, but it's something similar. I think it's some kind of creature, but I could be wrong. Um, if we go back to that again, the point is, if this was mechanical, I wouldn't expect to see these curved parts like this. I would expect it to be more angular, like this part on the end here, on the right. We've got this angular part. I would expect to see more angular parts. But there are some very strange details in here, and uh, it's mind-boggling. I don't know what it is, but it's very interesting. And some of these things underneath look weird as well. We got almost teeth-like structures in here, here like this, but with weird things sticking out like that. And this one on the end is crazy, because not only does it come over like this at the top and join here, but it's also got this part here, almost like a bracket or, or like a, a, a strap around it or something. It's very odd. Um, some of these details are very strange indeed. So answers on the postcard with that one. I don't really know what it is, but I'm just trying to suggest what it could be. It's way too complex to be a, just a rock uh, or some random clay minerals that have eroded in a very strange way and broken up. It's too complex. And the way the parts interlock, I would say, dictates that this is probably a, a set of bones from some kind of creature, possibly a, a, an aquatic creature, who knows? Now this is also mind-boggling. I have no idea what this is supposed to represent, but what we have is a very strange rock with a almost perfectly circular part to it here, with an inner part here. It curves up to there, it's got a straight part on top, and we have this part sticking out here at the end. Almost as if this is broken off here on the left. It's, it looks like it's broken off of something. Um, can I tell you what that thing is? No. Now, when you go in close, let's get it in the centre. You've got this almost perfect circle here. And we have an inner part here. Like that. And a darker bit there. So it's almost like there's a hole there. And it's just very odd. You've got the almost perfectly straight part to it here. This bit coming round. And then we have this part on the end which looks like it's kind of broken off broken off of something here. Or this may have been stood on this part here and could have been around the other way. Don't know. It's just very, very odd indeed. And uh, it's got some interesting details here. And this curve is very nice. It, it doesn't look like a normal rock. This looks like some kind of object that may have been part of a building or some architecture or something that has broken away and it's just lying there and it could have been there for a million years, who knows. So there was that, that was really interesting. Now I think someone else may have found this before because I seem to remember seeing this about a year ago or two even on one of the Mars sites on Facebook, possibly on Martian Genesis or uh, Mars X-Files or perhaps even on my own uh, group, um, Mars Magazine, I don't know. But it does look familiar, so I'm not claiming that I found this necessarily. So if, if you've seen this before and posted it on a, a group or anything before, please let me know, and I'll put your name in the description as a credit, okay? So there, I've called this guy Mr. Soft. It's very, very strange indeed. And when you look up close, there's the raw clip on the right and the slightly enhanced one on the left. 
I've done very little to this apart from adding a bit of contrast and brightness. It's a bit brighter and a bit darker. And you can see some very, very strange things here. It basically looks like a head coming around here and the forehead here and a nose here and a mouth here and an eye here. Okay, And a really very odd shaped chin coming around here and what looks like a shoulder and an arm coming down here and some other details which don't make a lot of sense. Uh, it kind of comes around like that but it's kind of obscured obscured slightly by this rock in front here and then we've got this weird part coming down here like that so what the hell is that it looks like it could be a statue but damaged and fallen over and then eroded possibly but look at the texture of it if you look at the texture of the rocks around it they're all quite crinkly and rough and, and heavily textured but this thing is almost perfectly smooth which is why I call him Mr Soft because it just looks like soft material like, like sponge or, or, or something now I'm not saying it is that I'm just saying it's very very smooth compared to the other things around it which are all heavily textured and cracked and, and pitted this thing looks like it's had a great deal of water erosion uh, not wind erosion. If this was wind erosion, we would have lateral lines coming across it like this, right? If it was water erosion from rain, we would have vertical lines coming down, erosion lines coming down like this. But this is all eroded in what seems to be a very smooth manner, as if it was underwater and had water swirling round it, perhaps, and it's kind of hollowed it out slightly here. So it may just be an optical trick, but why would it have an eye? like that with internal detail and a nose, a, a strange pointed nose and a mouth with a bottom lip. You've got, you can see a lip shadow there. There's the lip. All right. And we've got an upper lip there and the mouth coming around like that. We've got internal eye detail and an eye. And a very strange pointed nose. So that was really weird. And I promise you, you'll find all these things in the gig pan. If you look yourself, these things are littered all over the place. Um, some of them are unrecognisable blobs of weirdness, which I can't ex even explain. But uh, this, is, this one here is probably the strangest I've seen in a very long time. Really, really odd. So that was interesting. If you look through carefully, there's hundreds and hundreds of little things. Most of them are just rocks. But some of them do really look like fossils, and they're quite small. This thing here, I would say, is only about six inches across. This thing is not big, so none of this is really big. Um, some of these rocks are quite large, but most of this stuff is quite small and quite close. So it may look large to you initially, but it's not. It's just closer up, and the rover is literally looking down on the ground, and there's a ridge line at the back, which has got an interesting entrance to it up here and this is where this thing is that people thought was a face but it's not this is not a, this is not a statue that's just a rock that's shaped a bit like a head it's not at all when you see it in greater detail it doesn't look anything like a statue it's just head shaped uh, it may it, it may be I could be wrong um, it does seem to have an eye here but uh, I don't think it is uh, or maybe it's just so eroded that it's, it's hard to say. But then we have this entrance going right into the butte here, just here. Let's go full screen. And you've got loads of gold on the ground as well. You've got these deposits coming down here. And there's lumps of gold on the ground, right? But there we have it. There's an entrance right here. And you can look right up into it. There are no footprints or anything. So nothing's been in or out of this thing for a long time it seems but um, there we are this may go right inside the butte like a cave or an entrance so there we are so there's loads of weird stuff here the best place to look for things that aren't so heavily eroded are the things at the bottom of these buttes or ridge lines or, or ruined buildings as a lot of them are the place is to look down the bottom because these things are more sheltered and tend to be less eroded by the wind and are in better condition 
And most of the best things I've found, i.e. statues and skulls and that kind of thing, and objects, are usually at the bottom of these ridge lines. So if you see a ridge line, look along the bottom and you will find something in almost every set of images, okay? Uh, as I have for many years now. Um, there's also lots of other similar things I found recently that match up. Now this one I posted a, a few days back. This one here actually matches this one here, the, this head actually matches um, one that I found before. Here's the head from that video. It's, it's not very detailed, it's very small, it's only a few inches. But look at the shape of it, look at the extreme cheekbones here and shape of that. Then I'll show you this one. Extreme cheekbones sticking out and eyes sticking right out like that. It's, I think, the same type of Martian as this one. Although this one's much bigger and further away and it's possibly even alive. Okay? Now, I don't know what this is, but it's got two eyes and a mouth here and a very strange thing sticking out of it, like a, a stick or kind of tube or something, like a pipe sticking out of the side of it here. Very odd indeed. Uh, now that may be a part, in part an optical trick, I don't know, but this is really odd, really odd indeed. Uh, now, are those eyes, is this his nose, is this a mouth? I don't know, but there seem to be teeth in here. Highly irregular, a very strange nose there, and two eyes. Uh, but the thing that caught my eye about this is this thing sticking out, the pipe, or tube, or stick, or whatever it's supposed to be. Who knows what that is? This is so weird. I don't know what to call this, but it looks a bit like a statue head, or something with a very flat top to it there. And we've got a nose here, an eye here, an eye here, and a mouth here. But it's, the texturing on it is so, it's kind of, so kind of weathered and pitted. It's really, really hard to work out. It may be an optical trick, this, because we do have a lot, a, a lot of these um, kind of rocks here with loads of erosion and weird pitting and shapes in them. And uh, a lot of this stuff may be actually volcanic rock where it's hit the water and then solidified rapidly and made these funny shapes. That, that may be a, uh, what we're seeing in a lot of these things. But the fact that I found so many skulls and statues in this area dictates to me that this may be another one, another statue here or something. Very odd indeed. If you're getting close, you can see some eye detail in there and the nose and the mouth. But you've really got to darken it and play with the contrast to get that to come out. We've got to be careful that we don't dismiss things just because they're too strange for us to get our heads around. The point is, we're, looking, we're on an alien planet here. We're looking at alien objects, or at least we're the aliens looking at Martian objects. And we shouldn't expect to understand everything we see straight away. Often I, I post things, I don't really know what they are. And then a year or two later, I'll find something similar and then go back and think, that's what it is. It's comparative analysis. And it takes time and detailed research to compare these things and then eventually gain a picture of what these things may be. That's how it works. And sometimes it takes many years of comparative analysis to come to a conclusion about what you found in the past and what you're finding now. And that's what I've been doing. So the area is absolutely littered with crazy, crazy things. And uh, if you do find anything interesting, come along to Mars Magazine and post it below this image here. If you scroll down from the top, it's not too far from the top, if you find anything interesting, take an image clip of it. There's Mr. Soft there. And in fact, I, I found the video of the TV advert called Mr. Soft, uh, which I'll play now, actually. I'll probably get away with that, hopefully. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, this is an old advert from the 80s, I think for uh, a certain brand of um, chewy things. But it reminded me of that because of the texture. That's the only reason, is the texture, this soft, weird texture, okay? I thought that was interesting anyway. So, like I said, go back and watch the bear video. It, it explains in detail how these calcification processes work. And also go back and watch the Great Pyramid video that I did the other day. Um, it's not had that many views. And this has actually, these are much bigger, larger enhancements I've done here, and you can see a lot more detail here than I previously showed 
in the original videos from years ago. You can actually see block work, internal structures where this has been uh, broken and smashed or blown up and whatever. You've got this rectangular building here. You've got some incredible details on top of this pyramid. And uh, this is the looming, towering ziggurat or pyramid that's been watching over these things on the ground we're looking at today. And it's probably millions of years old and it's about 500 feet tall, bigger than the one in Egypt, the largest one in Egypt, at Giza. This is massive, okay? So there was definitely people there. The question is, which ones built this pyramid? Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.